Liz's Egg's Burger Bar, America's favorite carryout restaurant since 30, 40 seconds tops. All right. I'll cover. Christ, man, was that you? Uh, maybe. Motherfucker. I ought to let him shoot your ass. I said maybe. Either way, it's probably going to get real popular around. Just get the goddamn door.
up in 30 seconds. We'll stay up. Need help? Someone in. Drag his train off. Looks like the last one. Man, that guy's a dick. Brother, you don't know the half of it. Way to the end, Frey.
You know he's full of shit, right? Yeah, of course he is. We won't. In ten minutes, you and I are gonna go on a routine. We're gonna ride this out in one of those access tunnels, but you... You got us... Take it cover, up! There's no end to these dickheads! Maybe in the next life, asshole! Chicken shit, motherfuckers! Shit! Take cover! Look at some fire on that door! Take your cover! Jesus Christ, they never got it done. This thing couldn't launch Fidel into Khrushchev's asshole. God bless you, Jack Kennedy. The silo goes down a few levels and connects to the submarine bay. That's where we'll find Aldridge. Fuck 
Silo goes down a few levels and connects to the submarine bay. That's where Catch this! It's gonna blow! 
in time. Got him. See what I can do. I don't know, man. You sure this will take us to the submarine bay? Are you doubting my ability to transmit? Hell yeah! I'm absolutely doubting it. You little face.
Marine Bridge! Finish this. I'll be outside. <coughs> you're like, you're like a goddamn cockroach. You know that. <laughs> <coughs> 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 What the fuck were you thinking? <clears throat> Aiding a sworn enemy of the United States. In wartime, no less. <sighs> NVA are no enemies of mine. <coughs> Same with the VC. And that's why you decided to murder thousands of American soldiers with that goddamn nuke? How many soldiers we got scattered around all over there? Most of them were scared shitless. They could give two fucks about any of it. They just want to make it home alive. Problem is, they get home, and their heads are all scrambled. Or maybe they find their girl humping on some fucking asshole who got a deferment for heel spurs. So, you were doing this for the soldiers, is that it? <laughs> And what about the money you were hoping to make? What was that for? <laughs> to ease your conscience? <laughs> we both took off the talk, it never happened. It's a bunch of bullshit dreamt up by the NSA. You talked to me about killing American soldiers? Brother, the fucking US government's been doing that! <sighs> and for what? God, I used to admire you! <sighs> Thought you represented everything great about this country. You are just as greedy and selfish as everyone else. There are no dominoes, Johnny. Vietnam falls. Who gives a shit? It's a fucking backwater. Everybody's living in goddamn huts. And half of them don't even have shoes on their fucking feet, for Christ's sake. At least my way had a chance of ending things. Are you finished? It appears so. Come on. Let's get that warhead out of here.
Time to blow this pop stick. Get in. What the hell are we gonna do with this thing? Just trust me. Oh, I was afraid you were gonna say that. Hey, we're ready. Bring the bird around. Rotorhead 1, moving into position. So that's your bird! Didn't I say trust me? to pry. Will you mind telling me who just flew off with the nuke? Oh, that's Gary. He's a great guy. You'd love him. Oh, Gary. Who the fuck is Gary? <laughs> He's a man who knows people. He'll probably even manage to squeeze a reward out of the Pentagon. Oh, don't worry. I'll cut you in. <laughs> oh, goddamn. I'm famished. Hey, how about we stop for some shrimp po' boys? Ugh, I'll pass. What's the matter? Your weak-ass constitution can't handle some stick-to-your-ribs grub? That shit's practically a culinary disembowelment. <laughs> okay. How about we stop for some ice cream before I go talk to Marshall? Oh, ice cream? And who the fuck am I, your girlfriend? Hey, man. Dress fit. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> yeah, sure, now he's got a sense of humor.
Come on in. Don't mind the smell. Marshal, how's business? Booming. You and Johnny take care of that thing with Aldrich? He's dead, if that's what you're asking. Prick deserved to be flayed alive. You know, I can forgive just about anything, but you don't turn your back on the Stars and Stripes. Anyway, how'd you like to enter the ever-expanding field of bounty hunting? What, like tracking down bail jumpers? Yeah, bail jumpers, weirdos, assholes, you name it. Just bring them back here alive. Hell, you can even use my old friend the B-128. It's a compact dart pistol. Knocks them out cold. Then I bring them back here, I imagine. Yeah, trunk usually works best. Last thing you want is your upholstery getting ruined. Your first target is Ray Duplass. Got picked up for running around with his pecker out. Sounds like a charmer. Yeah, kid's a little mixed up is all. Says his nudity is a political act against the war. That earned him a beating from some boys in the New Bordeaux PD. A lot of them served, or they've got sons who are serving, so they take that shit personal. If Ray's got a warrant out on him, cops might not feel like bringing him in easy. Bingo. Ray's been waving his cock at some of the anti-war protests in the French Ward, South Downs, and downtown. All right. I'll head down to one of the protests, see if I can scoop him up before the cops do. Duplass is slippery. Literally, it's called hyperhidrosis. Hey, and go easy waving that dart pistol around in public, will ya? Yeah, I imagine any cop sees me with his liable to think it's the real thing. Bingo bongo.
for real Americans. Product 
who four out of five proctologists recommend to cool, soothe, and reduce the swelling of painful hemorrhoidal tissues? Harms Hemorrhoidal Suppositories. They bring quick, cooling relief. The patented Harms formula speeds cooling comfort to where it's needed most. Reduces the swelling, soothes the burning, makes life once again worth living. Harms Hemorrhoidal Suppositories for quick, effective, cooling relief. The screen is fuzzy. I can't see the score. I need a new TV. What's the best store? There's more in store for you at Holton's. We have a huge selection of brand name TVs, from tiny portables to attractive floor models. The best in black and white to the latest in color. And a special view with the greatest advance in TV since color is best. The remote control. Sure, Sam. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Get your ass home in one piece, MJ. You all right? Far fucking from it. Sinclair Paris. That mean anything to you? Nothing good. Black folks, anyway. Sheriff Department down there still thinks Jim Crow is a law of the land, so we're building a civil rights case against him. Been working with an attorney out of Washington, D.C., knows people in the FBI. That what that call was about? One of my men, named Ezekiel Dandridge, was down there meeting with folks, getting him to agree to testify against the Sheriff's Department. He was compiling evidence, uh, testimony, getting folks' names. We are gonna turn it over to that attorney. <sighs> and then he ran into a motherfucker named Sheriff Walter Slim Beaumont. <sighs> I was on the phone with him when it happened. I'm getting ready to leave now. I know. Yeah. Okay. Kinda laid out, ain't it? Are you having car trouble? No, sir. Everything's fine. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Why don't you come on out here and let me get a look at you? What you doing around Sinclair this time of night? Passing through, sir. Passing through. That's nice. Beautiful night for passing through, ain't it? Who's that on the phone? My mama. Your mama. She worries. Just letting her know when they're expecting me. That's mighty nice. I bet she appreciates that. Yes, sir. It is a beautiful night. <laughs> Don't let me keep it. Especially what with your mama waiting and all. Jesus. And another brother falls. Lincoln, this is my daughter Roxy. She grew up in Atlanta with her mother. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Lincoln. Lincoln Clay. I know. Daddy, I already told you I can handle this on my own. There's too much at stake. The case. People's lives. Can't take any chances. Heard you rip Dixie Mafia a new asshole. <laughs> Left one of them hanging from a Ferris wheel. He killed someone close to me. 
Seemed like a good way to pay him back. Slim and them motherfuckers who work for him. Dixie Mafia ain't nothing compared to them. We do this, you do what I say, when I say it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the two of you need to get on down to Sinclair Parish and get that folder. When you got it, bring it here. <clears throat> Meet me outside when you're ready to go. Your ass is driving. She was supposed to be with ZQ. Blames herself for what happened. Blame is an easy thing to put on. Hell of a lot harder to take off. We'll get this done. Of that, I have no doubt. Sinclair Parish? <laughs> yeah, I, I remember Sinclair Parish. <laughs> You, you need to understand that back then, uh, local police, sheriff departments, they operated with absolute impunity. And no one operated with more impunity than Sheriff Walter Beaumont. Beaumont used his power to keep Sinclair Parish white. Places like that were called sundown counties. If you were black and caught around there after dark, well... That would be the last time anyone ever saw you. Well, let's go. My pops gave me the rundown on how you two fucked up those Dixie assholes. What you did to do set, that was stone cold. Did what had to be done. Yeah, I'm sure you did. But listen, if one of these Sinclair deputies ever tries to pull you over, don't stop. They'll kill you and me without a thought. New Bordeaux police don't exactly walk around giving black folks hugs. Now, nah, ain't no disrespect, my brother. But take out Slim like you did Richard Doucette, and in their minds, that's just gonna justify everything they be doing. That's gonna make shit even worse. But you, you ready to just go out and kill them all, huh? No. Just the ones that matter. MJ. Jesus Christ, Roxy. 
I've dealt with asshole cops before, but god damn. They'd rather ice your black ass than soon as look at you. Now I get what you've been saying. Those motherfuckers are a whole new brand of intense. And keep your eyes open for more pigs as we hear through down. MJ Farmer's up ahead. What's MJ like? Sinclair born and raised. He a white boy looking to make a difference. You trust him? Of course I trust him. Although I think he got more balls than sense. Sounds like my kind of people. Let's sit up here? Yeah. Foxy Roxy. I ain't seen you in a good minute, girl. MJ's waiting for y'all in the greenhouse. Now you say hey to Lula and them babies for me. Mm -hmm.